Hi everyone, guess where I am now? I am actually in San Francisco and this video will be a pretty simple one because I'm really tired after a whole day here and if you look at this badge, you guess where I'm at? I'm at AMD's Tech Day. Yes, today is AMD's Tech Day over here at San Francisco and my goodness, it was an amazing one as AMD's key people show us what the Ryzen is. Yes, the Tech Day is primarily about the Ryzen and well I I'm just so happy that I got this yep go fries is one of the two first Malaysians to receive an AMD Ryzen processor Woo! okay so you this is uh, pretty much an unboxing event and look I'm not even scripting this I am just going with the flow <sighs> I opened this earlier and yeah look at this so this is my Ryzen processor is the R7 1800X and underneath this woo, it's the wrong direction, MSI MXI X Power X370 is that correct? Yes, no. X370 X Power Gaming Titanium. Well, lovely motherboard. Uh, then there's a super, super heavy box. I'm gonna show you the motherboard for a bit. Now, the way AMD pack this thing is that the accessories are removed so the board can fit into that heavy box. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the processor just yet because I haven't opened it, it's in a box, but. You can see that it's um okay, it's this is not for resale and does not come with heat sink. It's a Ryzen there, see. Okay. That aside the board. It's the MSI MSI board with a it's a titanium colored X370 X Power Gaming Titanium. Apparently there's a pre-mounted um, bracket. I believe that this board isn't brand new. They're, they've been using it for demo and such and that's why the bracket is around. Now, that aside, AMD provided me with a cooler from Noctua. This is the model NHU12S SE AM4. And of course you know Noctua stuff. It's uh, it's uh, how you say you can't expect good performance from it and even throughout the, uh, during the event we've seen how um, how this uh, the Ryzen is some mod you can it's possible to run it fanless uh, depending on your setup now I saw the fan I'm just happy that it's not the ugly color fan sorry Noctua I'm not the person who likes your fan color but hey this one's nice that aside RAM I have a Corsair a DDR4 3000. Whew, that's it. Now, that aside, some things that I uh, just received that uh, you are allowed to know starting with this video. This time, this is when the embargo is lifted. That's why I can publish this video. So, a few things you need to know three AMD Ryzen, Ryzen 7 models will be launched, which is the, the 8 core 16 thread. 1800X, the 7 1700X, and the Ryzen 7 1700. Three models 1800X, 1700X, and the 1700. Now, second point EMD beats its global, I'm sorry, EMD beats its goal of 40% IPC improvement with Zen, achieving 52%. Next up, base and boost clock speeds, TDP, and suggested pricing for each Ryzen variant. Well, these details will be published. I don't have it right now. But basically, um, well, you, you, you get to see it in the video afterwards. Um, or more, more like I will publish it at the same time, somewhere here, link, or towards the end of the video. I haven't planned this out, but yeah, I have a um, video with presentation by Dr. Lisa Su and all that. Um, up next, um, the flagship Ryzen 1800X was shown outperforming a similarly configured 8 core 16 thread Intel Core i7 6900K in Cinebench R15 multi threaded. 
um, benchmark in handbrake-based video transcoding as well as showing comparable 4K gaming performance. Um, next point, um, well, pre-orders will begin February 22nd, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from more than 180 global retailers and boutique OEMs. And lastly, AMD will launch the Wraith Spire, which is a new cooling solution for selected Ryzen processors. Now, um, the, about the Wraith processor, no, Wraith cooler. From previously, you've seen a Wraith cooler, which is a, it's a square type. Square, square. Okay, I'm looking at the camera, it's a square, but whatever. The Spire is a rounded type, of course. The square one will be called Wraith, Wraith Max, and this one, Wraith Spire, is a level under the Wraith Max. Uh, yeah, rather the Wraith Max. So Wraith Max, Wraith Spire. And both of them, get this, both of them comes with an RGB ring and both of them comes with a connector that you can connect to your bot's 4-pin RGB connector, like the Aura and all that. It'll be fine, it will um, Just don't connect the... You, if you see my other review, there was a mistake there. Well, I won't go into uh, details about it, but it was basically my mistake for not checking the voltage and also being also the, the board manufacturers manual did not state about the volt, voltage thing so there's a mis uh, misunderstanding and confusion over there so basically check your voltage if you are to use any other rgb strip um i'm going off topic over here but never mind so i guess you you guys uh, probably by now be ex as excited as i am when it comes to this amd stuff well i'm totally surprised by quite a number of things the Ryzen's performance seemed amazing. Amazing. We spent the whole day looking at all these performance benchmarks, live and all that. Then the range of boards, yes, they look beautiful. Personally, I like the MSI and the Aorus uh, designs, Asus Next, um, Astro and Biostar are to me the lesser of the comes to design. What else? Uh, there's like RGB, RGB rate um, rings, those are really um, surprising. Well, then again, come to think of it, it's actually not that surprising because you see everyone's going to RGB. Oh, that. I absolutely love this jacket from um, AMD. I'm not going to stand up to show you, but it's basically a long sleeve jacket. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I think that's it. I'm, I'm like what I say, I'm still in San Francisco and I'll be heading back to Malaysia and in a couple hours from now. Half a day from no, um, based on the it's about 10 coming to 10 30 now, so I'll be heading back to Malaysia in the morning. I won't tell you what time. Please do not come and meet me at the airport. Thank you. Um, that's like well, okay, let's look at the box again then. Ryzen, Ryzen the 1800X. I uh, can't wait to test it, and as always, I'll be publishing the benchmarks and whatever else on my website gofries.com and of course at gofries youtube channel so thank you everyone thank you for your support i wouldn't have been able to come here if not for the support of all my uh, viewers uh, readers and of course thank you amd for this opportunity to visit san francisco here and to attend the amd tech day it you know, although it's tech day but uh, it's more of a ryzen day uh, everything's Ryzen, 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 Ryzen. Since we rise up in the morning, as a Ryzen, 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 and now I shall end this video right now. Thank you, thank you everyone for watching this, and may you continue to enjoy this uh, beautiful, the look of this beautiful box of the AMD R7, no Ryzen 7. You see, AMD's uh, products has uh, names R9, R7. Then RX four seventy RX four eighty. So it's pardon me for the confusion sometimes. So this is the Ryzen seven eighteen hundred X. Yeah, eighteen hundred X. Yes, I'm trying not to get confused with the product names. RX so an RX four seventy. It's an R seven eighteen hundred X. Good thing it's not a seventeen hundred. Well, I wouldn't mind 1700, 1700X as well, but I'm just so happy that I get the 1800X, which is the highest clock unit. So, that is like, they'll be cov covering, I'll be having other videos that show benchmarks and explanations of what's the base clock, boost clock, and the XFR and how it works. And 
you know, once I get this up and running, I'll, I'll probably have a video about the overclocking experience, benchmarks of my own and such. Well, yeah, we have benchmarks from AMD. They, are, they did show us live and those are credible benchmarks, I believe so. But that doesn't mean I won't do my own benchmarks. So you will, again, you will see it once, once I get it all up and running. And give me a bit of time because, uh, well, the, the plan for the system is pretty much ready. Um, oh, it's all a matter of uh, the piecing this thing up, which is very fast. And then I have the OS probably installed soon. I brought most of my gear to use in this hotel room. So, that's it. Whew. 11 minutes of video right now. And I'm going to say goodnight to everyone. I don't know if I'll be getting enough sleep tonight because after this video, I've been encoding it. Uh, it's just too bad that I will not be encoding this video on the RX 1800X just yet. I'll be using my slow mobile Intel processor. Alright, great, that's it, that's it. Um, if you want to have a look at the MSI board again, I think I'd like to show you guys the board again. It's such a lovely board. Don't drop, box to drop. Ta -da! Titanium at the back. Titanium all over and this this board is worth uh, at least for my what I read is uh, US two ninety nine. What I like is that it comes with buttons for power on and all that. It comes with the debug LED, lovely dim slots with steel uh, reinforcement. Same with the PCIe slots. Then it comes with this M dot two protection. It's called M dot two shield, and I'm not forgetting the heat sinks do come with uh, silver covers which I think they are plastic um, this one here is plastic I wonder if you can hear it alright so that's it that's it for this board and I'm so glad that this board is the one that I'm gonna pair it with this processor because they did show pretty much um, most of the boards I think probably even all of it the thing, the thing is I did not keep track of um, how many boards these brands are releasing but we do get some let's see probably eight panels showing and each panel showing about four boards so is it eight panels i think it's eight panels well i could be wrong well whatever um i did not pay too much attention on the the, the count of boards but yeah i think it's about somewhere along that one and uh, talking about chipsets, this is the X370, which is the uh, highest, and there are a bunch of other models uh, that's to already released or to be released. Okay, so I keep extending this video for some reason. I have no idea why, but probably it's my probably it's my excitement over this whole thing. Thank you for watching. I couldn't have, um, I would have done this live, but it's on embargo till 6 a.m., which is like. Um, it's now just coming to 10.30, yes, so um, you must understand. Uh, that's it. Uh, all good, all good. So, thank you for watching. Signing off, Brian from Gold Fries, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Good night from me here right now. You'll be pro pro if you're from Malaysia, it's good morning. You'll probably be just seeing this. Whoa, this new thing today, but uh, for me, it's just... I woke up 7 plus in the morning and it's now coming 10 30. I haven't slept yet. I'm gonna sleep soon, hopefully, but come to think of it, I still have videos and whatever else to, to settle. So, GG my sleep. Looks like I'm gonna be sleeping in a plane. Alright, so catch you guys next time. Pardon the squeaky chair from the hotel. Yeah, it's a squeaky chair from the hotel. Good night. Good night from me, Brian. Good night. Ryzen. And I guess tonight's sleep will be beautiful, even if it's short. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.